Hello, teacher Jackie here. I wanted to show some of you who are struggling with um, preparing early what to do, because I've seen some of that in the chats like, what do I do if I can't see the slides? How do I prepare and all these things? So let's quickly share my screen to a, um, a lesson and you can see. So one moment, let me click on that. All right, you should be seeing basically VIP teachers um, just one quick thing. I don't think I don't think I'm in trouble for showing this. Just real quick, so to help another teacher. So really quick. So this is a class I'm teaching in the future next week, and I want to prepare. And so let's say you're looking at it, and you go to your feedback. So down here, your feedback template, and I have mine. And so I can actually I'll scroll it just a little bit to show mine. I want to show anyone else's stuff. I have a script. And so my script is this. Whoa. And so um, I copy and paste it into a hit edit. I copy and paste it. Actually, I can probably click on that. There we go. And with that, I paste it in here. And then I have right here where it's like this words. I have the word words in all cap. Okay. And then I come up here. I click just grab this vocabulary words, copy, and then I paste it into here. Now, when it has like a V for verb and N for noun, I delete those. I don't keep those in. Then where, in my normal generic template for feedback, that one says words, this one says topic. And so you're like, well, psh, can't see the slides. Well, look at this. You'll be able to talk about Lake Baikal or whatever that, I'm not sure I pronounce it. I'll check it before I, and I'll paste that into here. So I have all this, this word feedback template comes in there. So I delete that. I click here, go backwards, delete it, and I'm done. So what I usually do is I click on save and share. Now this other one says words during class. At home, please practice pronouns. So during class in the chat, I type the words they mispronounce. And I let them know that too, because I don't want to look down and start typing and they're like, what is she doing? I say, oh, I'll type that real quick. And then I'll hit enter after like I get like five or six in there. So they see that and they actually like that. So let me hit save and share. Now what's nice is it'll save it and then it'll share it. And what happens is when you go to like most recent, mine will pop up at the top. I think, yeah, there I am. And so what I do is I click on me to be one useful. And so that usually helps that. So that help, that's a way to prepare for your slides and your feedback if you can't see it. I sure hope that this was helpful for somebody out there. Again, like, share, subscribe. Um, again, your comments are wonderful. So I'm glad that you're glad. I'm so sorry I hadn't posted in the month of January or much of February. It has been busy, but I did have a nice break during the New Year's. I did not have very many classes. They'd book, 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 and then they'd cancel, cancel, cancel. <laughs> so if you had that too, that was normal. But now it's ramping up. So if you're a new teacher, welcome aboard. If you are a returning teacher, welcome aboard, welcome back. And then if you have been a veteran and you've been here, hey, awesome. I love this community. It's really, really great. So if you have anything else, let me know, and I will try to continue to share. Bye-bye. <laughs>